Namaste and welcome to Gap. All these days we are hearing about Five Eyes Alliance or Five Eyes Countries. So, why Five Eyes Alliance is so much in news? Without further delay, as always let's begin our exciting and informational journey. Why is Five Eyes Alliance in news? On 18th September, the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau alleged that the Indian government may have potential links to the killing of a Sikh separatist leader in Canada. The ties between the two countries are under strain, where his allegations are backed by reports of Five Eyes Alliance. India strongly rejected these allegations, labeling them as absurd and motivated. In a tit for tat move to Canada's expulsion of an Indian official over the case, India has also expelled a senior Canadian diplomat. India gone a step further by temporarily halting visa services for Canadians. This situation not only has ramifications for trade and immigration but also holds the potential to affect the relationships between both the countries and Western allies. There are two more alliances in the name of Nine Eyes and Fourteen Eyes, which we will understand about them later in this video so stay with us. Now, we will understand about the formation of Five Eyes Alliance. The Five Eyes is an intelligence alliance comprising five English-speaking countries that cooperate in signals intelligence and share intelligence with each other. The alliance was originally formed during World War II and has since continued to collaborate on intelligence gathering and sharing. In 1943, the Britain-USA, BRUSA, agreement laid the foundations for what would become the UK-USA, UCSA agreement, BRUSA was signed between the US War Department and the UK's Intelligence and Security Agency Government Code and Cipher School, GC and CS. Following this, the UCSA was signed in 1946. Canada joined it in 1949, and New Zealand and Australia did so in 1956, forming the alliance. The agreement was not officially acknowledged, though its existence was known about from the 1980s. But in 2010, the UCSA agreement files were released. This agreement aimed to share intelligence information, support US forces in Europe, exchange personnel and develop joint regulations for handling sensitive material. This is how Five Eyes Alliance was formed. About the Five Eyes countries. First is the United States of America. The USA is a key member of the Five Eyes Alliance and is known for its extensive intelligence agencies including the National Security Agency, NSA, and the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. Second is the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom plays a central role in the alliance and is home to the Government Communications Headquarters, GCHQ, which is responsible for collecting and analyzing signals intelligence. Third is Canada. Canada is another founding member of the Five Eyes Alliance and contributes to intelligence gathering and analysis through agencies like the Communications Security Establishment, CSE. Fourth is Australia. Australia is a member of the alliance and contributes its intelligence capabilities through agencies like the Australian Signals Directorate, ASD. And fifth is New Zealand. New Zealand rounds out the Five Eyes Alliance with its intelligence agencies, notably the Government Communications Security Bureau, GCSB. Why the alliance was formed? The Five Eyes Alliance was formed out of several key needs and historical contexts, primarily in response to the security challenges and intelligence requirements of the participating nations. The key reasons for its formation include, first is World War II and Cold War era, the alliance traces its origins back to World War II when the United States and the United Kingdom began sharing intelligence on Axis powers. After the war, the emergence of the Cold War with the Soviet Union and its allies heightened the need for intelligence cooperation among Western nations to counter the spread of communism. Second is mutual security. The participating countries recognized that their individual security and defense were closely intertwined. Sharing intelligence allowed them to better understand and respond to common threats, such as the spread of nuclear weapons technology, espionage, and military developments. Third is linguistic and cultural commonalities. The five countries share a common language and cultural ties, which facilitate communication and collaboration in intelligence matters. This commonality made it easier to establish and maintain a close-knit intelligence sharing network. Fourth is economic and political interests. 
the participating nations have significant economic and political interests that can be threatened by various forms of espionage, cyber attacks, and national security threats. Pooling their intelligence resources allows them to protect these interests more effectively. Fifth is technology and signals intelligence. The Alliance initially focused on signals intelligence, SIGINT, which involves intercepting and analyzing electronic communications. With the advancement of technology and the digital age, SIGINT became even more crucial for monitoring potential threats and adversaries. Sixth is Global Reach. The Five Eyes Alliance operates a global network of listening posts, intelligence facilities, and surveillance capabilities, allowing its members to gather information from various regions of the world. This global reach is essential for monitoring international developments and potential security threats. Seventh is information sharing. Sharing intelligence allows member countries to access a broader range of information and expertise than they could individually. This collective intelligence pool enhances their ability to detect and respond to security threats promptly. Eighth is effective intelligence gathering. By coordinating intelligence efforts and sharing the burden of data collection and analysis, the Alliance can operate more efficiently and cost-effectively in the realm of intelligence gathering. Now the most crucial part is to understand the role of Five Eyes in the current India-Canada issue. The Five Eyes countries, particularly the US, the UK and Australia are viewed as close to India. They also have significant Indian and Indian origin populations and have experienced instances of anti-India activities. But due to their historical closeness to Canada and the alliance on one hand and India, an emerging global power on the other, outright support for India or Canada is unlikely. Nevertheless, once these countries have access to clear intelligence and information on the matter, they could potentially play a mediating role in the India-Canada issue. What is Nine Eyes and Fourteen Eyes Alliance? First is Nine Eyes Alliance. The Nine Eyes is a different arrangement that consists of the same members of Five Eyes working with Denmark, France, the Netherlands and Norway. The Nine Eyes Alliance is an intelligence sharing network that is an extension of the original Five Eyes Alliance. Second is Fourteen Eyes Alliance. This is an expanded intelligence sharing network that includes the original Five Eyes countries as well as nine additional countries. The primary focus of the 14 Eyes Alliance is intelligence cooperation and the sharing of signals intelligence, SIGINT, among its member nations. So, this brings to the end of today's session. We hope we have been able to make you understand about the Five Eyes Alliances or Five Eyes countries. If you have any questions for us you can comment in the comment section or email us, we would be happy to help. Thank you for your time, stay safe and stay happy.